Hello everyone, this is Vivek from Vic Geek channel and today I'm here to discuss and share my opinion and thoughts about the newly launched 5D Mark IV. Now there have been lots and lots of criticism on YouTube channel and a variety of social media out there regarding the 5D Mark IV and here are my two cents about the newly launched 5D Mark IV. Why the MJPEG format? That's the really big deal for a lot of photographers and videographers around the world. So I'm gonna share my thoughts. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with my opinion or if you share a different kind of opinion about the Canon at a large. What I would like to first point out is that why MJPEG format? Well, if we look at the Canon's history of coming with newer and newer models, they have been quite conservative in their approach as we can see with a lot of their models. For example, the recently launched Canon 80D is itself a more conservative approach from the Canon. So we can easily conclude or have an opinion about the Canon camera systems that they don't just run away with the uh, or come up with new kind of innovations or technology or features that everybody is uh, doing. With the MJPEG codec that has been criticized for the Canon 5D Mark IV, I think MJPEG is the future. Uh, that is why they have approached the 5 in uh, 5D Mark IV. They just don't want to tell it publicly, but I think the Canon guys are working on uh, uh, on the MJPEG versions. For example, if we look at the uh, previous versions of the uh, encoding technology, we have the MPEG format. At first, the MPEG format was there, then came MPEG 2, MPEG 4. And, uh, if we look at the, uh, such kind of approach, I think surely the uh, Canon, uh, they certainly know what they are doing out there uh, with this kind of approach. Maybe uh, in few months, we could see the MJPEG taking over other codec technologies out there. And that would be the reliable source for everyone and maybe everyone would be really happy with what the Canon uh, has done with their 5D Mark IV. Because if we look at the camera uh, sensor output, the image quality is certainly uh, beautiful. And uh, there is the sharpness everywhere uh, from corner to corner if you consider any lens uh, attached to it. Uh, if we look at all those things, I think they are pretty much aware of what encoding technology they have adopted in the 5D Mark IV. Uh, and certainly they would come up with something uh, good news for the Canon 5D Mark IV users there. Uh, I actually wanted to pre-order the 5D Mark IV myself, uh, but uh, thinking the overall perspective of uh, what the Canon's approach would be, uh, I'm on hold and I did not just jump on to buy it uh, just as of now. Uh, now I'm pretty much happy with the Canon 80D here, uh, which does a stellar job in autofocusing system. Uh, I think the, absolutely there are no other brands out there who can do um, this kind of focus. And for, for the comparison sake, I would like to point out that I have got the Nikon camera here as well. Uh, as you can see, this is a basic line of uh, model from the Nikon, uh, which is the D3200. And it certainly produces some um, useful and beautiful uh, video quality uh, at 1080p 30 frames per second. But there is a big issue with Nikon. I don't know why they aren't improving uh, so largely with uh, such an amazing persons working at the Nikon corporation out there in Japan. Uh, maybe um, maybe they are not into a video world. Uh, maybe they are not so much serious. They are not taking so serious about the videographers out there because uh, what happens with the Nikon systems is if you take and look at their images they are absolutely stellar the dynamic range they are what they are known for and the image quality the color tones are all up to the mark but then the video absolutely sucks i would say uh, the especially the auto focusing system is terrible uh, does not uh, does not do justice to what you have been paying uh, for the nikon systems uh, because it always keeps on hunting no matter what camera body no matter what lens you put on it It always keeps on hunting after several uh, Few seconds of what it has attained the focus it thinks uh, it has attained focus But then it starts to hunt again uh, whether the subject has moved really out of uh, the, the scene or not It just doesn't work. That's why I left the Nikon uh, Of course, I have it for the image quality tests or the for other purposes uh, but then I bought the Canon uh, system of uh, camera, that is the Canon 80D, uh, which was newly launched. 
so more reviews about the Canon 80D and my experience and thoughts would be um, I'll upload a video on it uh, very soon so I uh, hope you guys will stay tuned uh, so that you subscribe and stay tuned so that you get uh, the honest reviews and uh, my kind of thoughts and opinions what do you guys think do you really appreciate what Canon has done I know there's a lot of criticism comments everywhere around the social media but then I would uh, I wanted to uh, share with you guys my thoughts about the MJPEG codec especially that's what been uh, ridiculous for the many of the Canon buyers out there and Canon even doesn't uh, think they should even reply uh, to the consumers out there who are uh, uh, very much um, frustrated about the kind of approach they have done with it but I really think that MJPEG would be the future. Maybe they will come up with MJPEG 2, 3, 4 versions kind of things improving encoding quality and as well as post-production uh, timing. So let's see uh, how the future shows us. Let me know in the comments below. I'll be replying to you guys. Uh, hit like button if you like this video. Uh, that would help me make more content. Uh, certainly there are more lots of other videos coming soon out there if you have checked my other previous video regarding the, how to use how to set up a slider for first time how to set up steady cams uh, how the shots would come use if you use the steady cam slider etc uh, so certainly check that video I will link in the description below and uh, I'll bring more content as the days pass by so hope you will hold up there thank you so much for watching this video I'll see you guys in another video